Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today, I come to you with rather somber news concerning the current graphics card market and the high prices that we are seeing in the market, which I've covered in several videos recently on news videos and other sort of analysis of the industry. And today we have pretty much official confirmation from NVIDIA as to what is going on, what's causing those shortages, and just how far in the future we could even possibly be thinking about an end of this, which is way longer than I think many of us had anticipated. So, yeah, like I said, this is this is not great news to be delivering to you guys. And when I first read this, I was just like, wow. Like, I wasn't even really planning to do a video today, but when I saw this go up, I was, I just, I was just, I was gobsmacked is really the best way to put it. So, originally... I saw this story go up on DSOG, Dark Side of Gaming, which is a website I really like, where their headline said, NVIDIA claims that GPU prices will continue increasing through Q3 of 2018. So that's the third quarter of 2018. And they're saying this claim comes from NVIDIA, um, which has actually been posted over on MassDrop by their buying manager, Brian Hutchins. He had made a statement on a post from MassDrop, who's an online retailer. They usually do these big drops for hardware and the tech industry and stuff and try to give consumers good deals on it. And they had posted up a Gigabyte Aorus GeForce GTX 1080 Ti graphics card for $950, which is not a great deal if you're considering MSRP and where prices really should be. So obviously there was a lot of community outlash against that and like, why is this price so high? This is not a deal at all in any way. So obviously they had to kind of put that fire out. So Brian Hutchins of MassDrop, the buying manager for them, actually came forward and revealed some information that he got directly from NVIDIA who had visited them in the past few weeks at MassDrop headquarters. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now so we can kind of get through some of the bad news. So first off, we're going to start with why the shortage is happening right now with graphics cards. So quoting Brian Hutchins directly from the website, as he, he had said that he had spoke with NVIDIA directly, and I don't think he has any reason to lie as he's making this quite public. So he says, first, for the shortage. All new cell phones coming out by Apple and Samsung and others last year started using the same memory as graphics cards. Apple and Samsung are willing to pay more for this memory to make sure they get it first and all of it that they need. This has created a shortage of memory for much smaller companies like MSI, Gigabyte, Asus, and EVGA to make graphics cards. So we definitely have that to contend with. The memory shortage we can credit in large part to the cell phone manufacturers who are using the same memory as GPUs that the companies like he mentioned need to make the graphics cards in general. So the few graphics cards that they can make are being bought up by pretty much everyone in sight the moment that they are available online, which is where the demand comes in, which he mentions the next line here for the demand. He said, this is obvious as the mining craze that's been going on has created a huge demand in the market as miners are gobbling up just about every card available on earth. So you've got these two factors coming in where the cell phone manufacturers are buying up the same RAM that gamers would need for graphics card or the manufacturers realistically would need for the graphics card to produce for gamers. So we're, we're dealing with that and Ap Apple and Samsung are huge entities, way bigger than someone like MSI or EVGA, Gigabyte Asus, just as Brian Hutchins had mentioned here in this post. So much bigger companies willing to pay more for it and they need to fulfill that demand because they're definitely selling more cell phones in a given time period than graphics cards by a lot. Like everyone uses cell phones. Everyone has a cell phone in their pocket. I just got the Note 8. I didn't have any issues getting this. I was able to buy it right away the day that I wanted. They had both color variants. Anything I wanted, I could choose and just grab this thing and that's how I got it. So cell phone manufacturers aren't having to deal with the shortage because they're willing to pay more for it and they're willing to pay that price so that they can get it first before anyone else has access to the memory. So with those manufacturers having such a hard time getting hold of it, they can only produce so many cards. And then when you combine that with the mining shortage that is going on because of miners and also just gamers in need in general who are sitting there on the buy button just waiting to get a graphics card at a decent price, 
we've seen the prices come up. Buying at retailers now, even from first party sellers, we're not even talking about third party sellers anymore. I've covered this in the past about, about um, Micro Center, also Newegg, as well as other retailers. There's not really any one company that is more is, is worse than the next. It's many of the first party retailers are raising the prices on their own before it even gets into the hands of third party sellers as seen even over on mass drop where they're selling this card for $950 which they state in the same post which that is barely above what they are actually paying from the distributor so that they're pretty much barely making a profit off of this graphics card so with all those things combined it completely sucks now everyone is also just asking when is this possibly going to end we've been waiting since like last summer for gpu prices to stabilize it's taken forever and unfortunately according to nvidia who told mass drop this is not going to happen until at the very least q3 2018 they didn't say an end date for this all they said is this they said while nvidia was here they also let us know that the pricing in the market will continue to go up up that is so it's not even going to stay high where it is right now it's actually going to continue to rise and rise and rise through the third quarter of 2018. So six months from now, we should be looking at graphics cards selling at more than what they are right now, which pretty much is like no end in sight. We don't know when this is going to stop, but we do know that it will continue to go higher and higher and higher from where it is now. So I'm sorry I don't have better news for people. Um, continuing on with this, they said it will go up through Q3 of this year, most likely before we start seeing any type of relief. So unfortunately, the end to this is not right around the corner and we have not seen the worst of it yet. It's just, it's really just awful news, man. It's awful news for any, awful news for anyone in the PC gaming space, whether or not you're a, just a casual gamer who's trying to put together their, maybe their first gaming PC or trying to upgrade your PC, or maybe you're like a custom boutique builder like AVA Direct or Main Gear. You know, these people are probably having to pay more for their graphics cards, even though they're getting it from the source. And even someone like me doing YouTube for a living, it makes it very controversial to do any sort of builds right now, recommended PC components when it involves graphics cards at all, because the prices are so high through the roof and the budget PCs of yesterday are not anywhere near the budget PCs of today. As you saw in that video I just did yesterday, I had to do a $500 PC build, which didn't even include a graphics card. Like, thankfully, we have those Raven Ridge APUs, which are pretty damn decent. But I'm sorry to say, if you pick one of those up for the time being to just play on that until graphics card prices stabilize, you could be waiting through until 2019, possibly. It's, that's a very realistic possibility. So it really sucks. I wish I had better news for everyone, but that's really just what it is right now. So please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this. And I just... I don't know if there's, I don't think there's anything we can really do about this except just kind of wait for the storm to blow over. And I hope the, those of you that are watching this, the majority of you, I hope you already have gaming systems and you're getting good performance as it is and you can kind of hold on to what you have for right now. Otherwise, I just don't know what the future holds for, for PC gamers. I think this is just going to be bad for everyone across the board, no matter what way you're involved in the industry, whether you're just a, a buyer a seller, um, a reviewer, or a system builder. It, I don't think it really matters. I think everyone that is involved in PC gaming in any way right now is being impacted by this, unless you already have a good enthusiast system and you're happy with your setup. So, yeah, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you in the next video, hopefully on a higher note than what we are ending off with right here. I'll see you then.